Hey, Chef Coco here, coming to you from my kitchen with another episode of Cooking with Chef Coco. Today, we are going to be doing my meatloaf Italiano. Um, the ingredients are listed as follows. So I got two pounds of ground beef, two cups of Italian sausage, two jumbo or large eggs, one cup of a Romano cheese, one and a half cups of breadcrumbs, Italian breadcrumbs, one cup of shredded mozzarella, one cup of marinara sauce of your choice. I'm making, I'm using my own homemade marinara sauce. You want your oven set at 375, get that preheated, and the cooking time will be between 30 and 45 minutes. And as you see here, I have all the ingredients here. We're going to put in a teaspoon of salt and a half a teaspoon of the uh, fresh cracked black pepper. We got the Italian sausage crumbles there. That's two cups. You'll see what I'm going to do with that. Mozzarella cheese, the eggs, the Romano cheese, breadcrumbs, and the two pounds of ground beef. What I use here is this is my meatloaf pan right here. What it is is like a bread pan, and then I have this insert. And I also put this pan on a sheet tray. So this way if it drips over, it drips onto the sheet tray. I move this over here. And still working with this new tripod. So I got two pounds of ground beef right here. And also make sure you wash your hands. I've already washed my hands. You want to break up the ground beef. Uh, you, you can let this get, you know, to a little, you know, still chilled, but a little bit toward the room temperature. You don't want it total room temperature because that's not good for you. It's not good for the meat. But so I got that broken up. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add the two cups of Italian crumbles, the sausage crumbles, and I'm just going to incorporate that into the meat. And you just get it really well blended as best as you can. I'm going to put in the salt, and then I'm going to get the pepper. What I'm going to also do, which I didn't list on my board, is I'm going to do uh, minced garlic. I'm also going to put a, a tablespoon of minced garlic into my meatloaf. So, there we go. Again, that is not on my board. I forgot to write that on the board. So, one tablespoon of minced garlic. I'm going to try and get this all mixed up. I'm going to add things a little bit at a time, mix it, and go back and add the other items to it. And then you'll see what I'm going to do with the uh, mozzarella cheese. Also, what I like to do is I like to get my hands nice and warm with some hot water. And it doesn't matter if the water's still on your hand. I just put it in there anyway. Now I'm just going to take my egg. Crack it on the side of something else and then split the shell open. This way you don't get any shell into your batter, your meat mixture. Those are two jumbo eggs and I use um, some local farm fresh eggs from a local farm. So get that in there and incorporated. Ooh, that's cold.
and you just keep flipping it and mixing it until it gets well incorporated. Uh, here we go. And again, I'm just rinsing off my hand real quick with some hot water. I'm coming right back to it. Okay, I'm going to add one cup of Romano cheese. And I'm also going to add my breadcrumbs. Now we're just going to want to incorporate this into the mix. And again, make sure you really get it mixed up. What I can do here, because, and this is what I normally do with my meatloafs, is I'll take some, some warm water and I'll add it to the mix. Just a little bit here and there. It puts a little moisture into the meat and it helps with the breadcrumbs so it's not a dry meatloaf. And you just do a little bit at a time. And it's about one cup of water. Uh, almost there. Okay. And again, we're going to get this really well incorporated. And there you go. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of this and I'm going to put it in the pan. And I'm going to press it down. I'm going to bring this up here so it's not so noisy. I'm going to press it down. I'm going to make like a little well in the middle of the pan, in the middle of the meatloaf. You see how I'm making like this little well? This is where I'm going to then put the mozzarella cheese. So just make sure you don't make any holes in the bottom of the meat, the bottom meat here, so that, that the cheese does not go down to the bottom and the bottom of the pan. Next, what I'm gonna do is now take some, take the mozzarella cheese. about a cup left in that bag so I'm gonna put that like that and just press it down a little bit then this is where you're gonna take more of your mix and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and make it the shape of what I have here I lay it on top and then Press it down so that it makes a seal to keep the cheese in. Uh, 
This might take a little longer than 30 to 45 minutes, but I don't want my oven any hotter than 375. So we're gonna try it out at 375 for 45 minutes. But in between, halfway in between, we're gonna to top it with some marinara. And then finish it off. So for now, there you go. Oops, sorry. There is the meatloaf. I'm gonna get it into the oven. Got it into the oven. Sorry about that. Um, got it into the oven. Now we're going to cook it for about 30 to 35, uh, 35 minutes to 45 minutes. And we'll go from there. Check back in a little. Okay. Hey everyone. Uh, Chef Coco here. I just took the meatloaf out of the oven. I have had it cooking for about 45 minutes. Um, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some fresh marinara that I made and I'm going to put it over the top. I drained some of the grease out of my pan and now I'm just going to take the marinara and put it on the top of my meatloaf just like this and just spread it around be, very, be generous with your sauce. I mean, it's all it's going to do is cook down onto the, the meat. And what I'm going to do is now going to put this back in the oven for another 15 minutes. And then we should be taking it out. So again, I did cook this meatloaf for 45 minutes. Drain some of the grease out. Now I put the sauce on it and we're going to put it back into the oven for another 15 minutes. And then we'll check back with you when it comes out.